guys to Butler Kennel Rock Wilders, man. Today I am driving back home. I am in my vehicle. You see back there, not the dog crate, but back there, got a little special surprise for you guys as well. So, today's subject, as you see, well, first off, again, if you have not done so, please hit that subscribe button, the like button, and welcome to the channel for you guys, first time watching. If this is your first time watching, please be patient with me, and then you want to look at some of the videos that I have recorded before for other questions that you may have. Anyway, so let's get right into it. So, today's subject is tails are not, right? So, tails are no tails, basically. Uh, what are your guys, what, what is your opinion on seeing rock wallers with tails and dogs without tails, right? So, here is the biggest thing I will tell you. I'm going to first give you guys my take on tails and not tails or whatever and you know and see what you guys think right I mean I'm not saying my my opinion is not written in law but I also think that everybody should have an opinion about what they like and one shouldn't criticize another one for having a difference of opinion than the other person so here's my opinion on tails and no tails I hate a tail on a rock wire. I hate it. Like I cannot stand seeing tails on rock wires. Right? I don't like it. I think it just goes against everything that I've seen growing up and how I envision rock wires. Now, I have never knocked someone or so first thing let me say this too. If you do want a puppy with a tail from me, you I'm like Burger King, you have it your way. You know what I mean? I'll gladly sell you a puppy with a tail. No problem whatsoever my personal dogs, that's my personal dogs, I can't stand the tail. That's just what it is. Um, you know, I think it's... So, let me backtrack a little bit. What... How did Rockwilders get to the point where they had no tails, right? In the beginning of time. So, this is my story. I'm going to tell you guys right quick. I'm going to give you a little lesson on Rockwilders and why... So AKC recognizes no tails, a dock tail or whatever. If you look at an AKC dog, they don't have the picture of a dog with the tail. It's the dog, the name of the dog is not German Rot, not American Rot, it's just Rottweiler. And if you look up the Rottweiler dog in AKC, it shows a dog with a dock tail. That's it. Now, second thing is this here. I've always grown up with dogs with dock tails. So to me, of course, seeing dogs with without a tail looks normal because I've seen it without a tail this is the way I grew up we had dogs without tails and then you start having people importing dogs that had a tail and then you had some people who never import a dog but trying to make it look like their dogs were imported at some point some people do I'm not saying everybody who catches dogs with tails um, and they wanted to make their dog seem like it was European because it had a tail I've even had breeders tell me they don't even like tails, but they got tails in their dogs because everybody else is doing it, right? To me, the dumbest thing in the world. I am never a person that's going to conform to everybody else's because what everybody else is doing in their kennels. I am me, I am who I am, and I'm gonna always do what Butler Kennels do because I bought my dogs, I built my kennels, I built my name, and I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And for some reason, other breeders get upset about what I do in my kennels and they're gonna give you the excuse about we're trying to protect the breed and we're trying to do this and I'm the Rockwaller police and like shut up go home and go play with a kite in traffic that's all I care I'm gonna be honest with you I really don't care so you got well okay maybe not play in traffic but go go in the corner somewhere so you got people that are gonna always have something negative to say about it and are going to tell you no 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 so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you the story about how Rockwallers came about without having tails. But first off, they're not born without a tail, okay? They're not born without a tail. They are born with tails, okay? If your dog was born without a tail, I know someone's going to leave a message saying, oh, my dog didn't have a tail, they had a little nub or whatever. Freak incident or whatever the case is. Rare, rare event that it happened, but it's not common, okay? So Rockwallers are born with tails. So... Back in the day, Rockwallers were used. Rockwilers were used for 
breeding and herding and you know pulling carts and all that kind of stuff right so if you have a guy hit with a rottweiler tail you know how hard it is and it hurts so a rottweiler tail will wag like this and you gotta imagine now you got two little sticks holding the dog is pulling the cart right here in the middle so you got a stick right here and a dog tail is wagging and it would break while the dog would wag so they would dock the tail so the dog would not break its tail while doing work while pulling the cart and also uh, there was a tax related to it you know if your dog was being used for that purposes uh, if you if you had a dog dog you'd have to pay taxes and all that kind of stuff dealing with money basically so basically to get out of it Europeans and everything else they would dot the dog's tails to make it seem like they were using dog for work even if they wasn't but it was primarily for those that were pulling carts and all that kind of stuff and um, to show that it was a working dog and all that kind of stuff or whatever so that's the story behind it it's more it's more in depth behind it but that's just a kind of a general purpose of the dogs okay so I know someone's gonna be like no there was more than this and it was that and it doesn't matter I'm just giving the overall I can go in debt but right now for this sake of this video I'm just giving you guys a general purpose of the dog having his tails and what the purpose of it was so many of you guys may not have known that but I am here to educate you guys and give you guys my knowledge Butler Kendall's knowledge and there you go so we have that so now you know that the dogs were born with the tail we know that overseas and they don't dock the tails um, but now they don't dock the tails anymore now before they did so they stopped doing it because it's considered to be inhumane and all this stuff and they don't want to do it anymore so now in America we were still doing it. AKC still recognizes dock tails and everything else but of course this is my personal opinion this part is personal opinion right I believe that a lot of people in America are trying to always copy overseas and everything else and all that what people do overseas so they kept the tails and now more Americans now are trying to keep that that way and a lot of them are saying like hey no we don't dock the tails because it is inhumane and you don't do this now and it's a lot of softies just trying to say certain things or whatever and we've been doing it for years it's okay uh, the animals are not damaged and hurt and all that kind of stuff we got technology we know how to you know it's a quick amputation that's done really quick the dog doesn't even scream uh, especially the way we do it or whatever the case is so that's that um, but you know like I said first off everyone's gonna have a difference of an opinion I don't have a problem with that if you have an opinion you like a tail give me a reason why you like a tail right uh, not just because everybody's doing it there's too many facets going on that everyone's just trying to copy a trend I'm not saying that you are doing it because of the trend I just want to know why you're really doing it do you really like a dog with the tail or not some people tell me they only want a dog with a tail. They cannot see a rock wall without a tail. Not knocking it, I will never tell somebody, oh God, I'm not selling you a dog with a tail. That's ridiculous. If you like it, I love it. That's on you. My job is to make you happy. And if you're happy, everyone else is hate and angry and envious of you should not even matter, right? So, on to the second part. Now, the question may arise, Tony, all of your dogs are imported why don't your dogs have tails hmm. you import these puppies they came with the tail why don't they have tails anymore well obviously I didn't dock them well personally but I took them to a vet and they docked the dogs tails I have no problem with telling people what I do I take I hate a tail I don't like it my vet that I personally go to that I travel to go get my dogs tails docked uh, saw that it is perfectly fine to dock the dog's tails because of the light. Now I know someone is going to say hey well because you don't like it you shouldn't cut the dog's tails and all this kind of stuff here. And I know it's going to be slack back and forth which is totally fun. But they're my dogs. Just like how I discipline my kids and how I do things in my way I do it because I like it. If you got a car and you want to put some wheels on your car you do it. No one tells you hey that car was perfectly fine with the wheels that came on it. How dare you take those wheels off? Or how dare you change your house? Your house was perfectly fine the way it is. Why would you paint your house? The paint doesn't, you doing it because that's what you like to do is for you. Um, you know, people brand cows and don't hear a single word about it. People tag cow ears as a putting a hole in their ears. You know what I mean? It's, you're doing something, but let's not get too much in depth about trying to be so. Peter like I guess on these things or whatever 
Um, it's been a it's been a ritual that we've done for beginning of times with these dogs and all that kind of stuff, right? Um, so that's the reason why my dog's tails are dumb. I take it to the vet. Uh, older dogs that I have, uh, little puppies, uh, young young adult puppies, well not young adult, but young puppies that I take that have the tails docked and they're done and docked and everything else. Um, I just believe, you know, like I said before, I have I had a I've gotten a lot of these questions asked so many times over and over and over again. How do you how do you feel about the dog tails? How do you feel about the dog tails? How do you feel about dogs with tails? How do you feel about dog with tails and all that kind of stuff there? So my overall answer is I just don't like it. I have seen some dogs that looks beautiful with a tail and I just think it, it would look better without it. Um, but I'm not going to change my likes for anybody. I don't think anybody out there should change what they like for me or anything else. Um, you know, a healthy debate is always something great. Um, you know, if you like the tails and you feel like the tails are something awesome for the dogs and you know they're going to tell you i heard the whole thing about the balance and the dogs going to be on balance and throws the dogs off and my dog's got some of the greatest balance i've ever known right so i've never seen an issue with balance i think that's a myth i think it is technically you might my dogs aren't walking pole lines anyway so they're not trying to walk a pole line ten thousand feet in the air or anything else but my dogs chase things and get it and they go lines whatever I haven't seen I have not seen where tail dogging have affected my dogs in any kind of way uh, that's just my personal opinion I've seen it I work my dogs every day I got 30 of them so I think I know a little bit about what I'm talking about as far as my dogs I'm not telling anybody else issues they've had with their dogs nothing else um, so yeah I mean that's just let me know below, what do you guys think about tail docking? Is it something that, and why do you think you're starting to see more people with the tails now? Do you think it's because everyone's trying to copy a certain look of everyone else is doing? Do you think they're trying to emulate that their dogs are imported when they're not? Because um, I have seen people breed dogs <laughs> with tails and kept the tails and try to make it seem like it was an import this world you see a lot of things and I'm just saying and um, you know tell me tell me what you guys think about your dogs and do you like it with tails um, if you don't like it I might do a poll later on of who likes it or don't but before this video comment below what you guys think about tails and not uh, and dog tails and which one do you prefer on the rock one right so I hope I give you a little insight about tails and not tails my opinion little bit of history about it and uh, comment below right now let me know what you guys think uh, and I'm going to respond to everybody's messages all right so be good be blessed treat each other right and we are out oh by the way I did shave <laughs>